Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we're playing level 199 on the quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 55 moves to clear out 72 jelly. Now, the entire board is covered with jelly, and obviously the top half is going to be harder to clear out because we have this three-layer thick frosting also occupying the top half. Now, we have a five-color board, so it's not too difficult to create specials. And we also have these wrapped candies in marmalade set to help us open up this three-layer thick frosting. The hard part about this level is really towards the end game, because usually the jellies on the sides, and particularly in the top corners, are really tough to take out. So I would definitely recommend bringing in the jellyfish booster if you're struggling with this level. Right away I see I have a 2 and 2 with the orange. I am hoping that by making this move I can draw another orange right there. Oh, wow, I'm actually surprised it worked. <laughs> so now I can either take out an individual color to concentrate the colors, or I could try and match this with a special. Right now, let's see here, we have several blue and several red that are in marmalade. So I think that an individual color will suffice right now. All right, so I'm going to take out all, let's see here, I'm going to take out all red from the board. The only reason that I'm taking out red is because the wrapped candies in the corners and on top are red. And they're harder to open up than are the ones towards the center. So now I'm going to try and create as many striped candies vertically and color bombs as possible so I can create ranged attacks to take out stuff up here. I can send something off and create something at the same time. So that's good. All right, so I have a striped candy. I want to see, uh, can I get it to form into a color bomb? Maybe? Let's see. Um, not quite. But that's a risk I was worth um, that I think was worth taking. Even though it didn't work out for me and the stripe went away too, those kind of moves will be the difference between winning and losing if they pan out. And I still have quite a bit of time. All right, let's see here. We still have quite a bit of red. I just need to see how it will work together for me. Here's the stripe with the purple, and here's a wrapped also. So the striped wrap combo is good for clearing out stuff down here. It will send off this red wrap, will open up the other three, and it will also strike a lot of the frosting. All right, so this is doing a lot for me. All right, let's see here. We have a few more specials already created for us. That's nice. Let's see. Can we pair this guy up with a stripe? Oh, so close, but it still made an impact up here. It took out a layer. And now I'm going to look over here. Can I bring these two together? Yeah, this one seems a bit more likely. All right, so this is going to send off a lot of our wrapped candies. It's going to weaken a lot of this frosting more towards the edge. So this is really good here. All right, so 40 moves left. We have cleared out pretty much everything except this lone jelly in the corner down bottom. So now I'm going to turn my attention to the top half, which is considerably more difficult. I'm going to try and make moves on top wherever possible. All right, so using these wrap candies that I have to clear stuff out. Yeah, I'm going to make a stripe, but I also see that this is going to slide down. That's okay. Maybe I can get these to pair up. Oh, that's pretty nice. All right, so now I'm going to use these together. It's going to open up this and clear out a lot more stuff. All right, so that was really good. We have quite a bit of time, but I find that sometimes we get down to the last couple jellies on this level, usually the ones in the top corners, and it's just like we can't even get near them. And it feels like a waste because we keep using these turns and it doesn't have much of an impact. So. Even though we've made a lot of progress, it's not a sure thing yet. All right, so let's see. We want to make the most of each and every one of our moves. We want to clear out as much as possible. Still looking for opportunities to make specials. Let's see, I have two and two with the purple. Can we bring down another one? Yes, we can. 
And now, since we have a lot of candy on the board, I would strongly consider trying to match this with a special. So let's see if I can. Looking for any concentrations of colors. Trying to keep those concentrations right now. Let's see, how can we work this out? Doesn't look like we have any specials, so I'm going to hold off a little bit. I'm going to try and work more towards this side once again. All right, so we can send this off. It's going to take out the very last frosting square that we had. So now we have six jelly left, and one, two, three, four of them are in the corners. This one is now gone. And this one is also weakened. All right, so 25 moves, quite a good deal of time. And I've been waiting a while. Haven't been able to match this with special. I'm going to wait a couple more turns, and then I am just going to take out an individual color. All right, so we have some specials near here now. I'm trying to set this up so I can take out the right color. Still looking for manual matches here. You don't often get them, but when you do, that's important. All right, so I've waited quite a while. I can't match this up with a special right now. Let's see here. What color should I take out? I have five jelly. Three of them are green. One is red, one is purple. I can't take out green or purple. I don't know. Maybe I should wait a couple more turns. Should I? Yeah, I have quite a few. I don't want to really waste them, but I feel like I'm very close to something that's really amazing, but it's just not coming together. All right, here's a stripe, and here's a wrap. Oh, this is interesting. All right, so stripe-wrap combo is actually better than a color bomb special in this case, because it's poised to take out three jelly that are on top and in the corners. This is perfect. So, sorry, Color Bomb, I'm going to have to sacrifice you, but you're still going to take out a color. All right, so, it looks like our Color Bomb took out all red from the board, which is good. It cleared out the jelly down here. And now we just have two stragglers left. One and this guy, which is still double thick. So, we're going to try and get some purple near here, or set this up so we can hit it with a ranged attack. All right, trying to get some more purple near here. We need to affect this part of the board. All right, here's a stripe. That's a ranged attack. And we can send this off now. All right, so eight moves, one jelly. Direct match or a ranged attack. Actually, right here, direct match isn't seeming to work. So I'm just going to go for the ranged attack. I have a red stripe. I just need to send it off. So as you can see, we had a lot of progress early on, but it, even with all that progress, the last few jellies t are taking us a really long time. That's one of the thing that's, things that's uh, kind of frustrating about this level. And right now, I don't have any moves on the top half of the board. That's a problem. And I only have six moves left. Let's see here. How can I influence this so I have a turn up top? I could try for a reshuffle. But honestly, I don't see that happening. And I have two moves left. This is a really long, tough level. If this move doesn't do it, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a lollipop hammer. I'm going to smash this stripe. It's going to send it off, and it's going to take out the jelly. All right, so that's how I beat level 199 with the use of one booster. But I highly recommend using a booster if you're having a problem with this level. Even though this was my first playthrough, I have experienced this level before, and I know that this isn't a level to be taken lightly. 199 is pretty tough, especially since you can make a lot of progress early, but the last couple jellies just eat your moves away. So jellyfish, lollipop hammers, either one of those boosters are great to help you complete this level. 
If you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any particular level of the game, please leave a comment below. I will try and help you. And as always, thanks for watching.